What's up everybody? Welcome to Jordan's Film Quest. Today's adventure brings me to Forest Lawn Hollywood Hills Cemetery. And today we are going to pay our respects to the extreme Mr. Bill Paxton. He is laid to rest here and we are going to go find his final resting place. Without further ado, let's go see if we can find him. As I'm standing here in the middle of the courtyard, I can't help but to look at this giant mural on the side over here. That's one big, beautiful mural. It's very nice out this morning. Kind of windy, but there are quite a few people over here. And over here to my right, it's for Mr. Bill Paxton. It's laid to rest. Yep, right here, the extreme. In 2017, Bill Paxton stated in an interview on WTF with Mark Marin that he had a damaged aortic heart valve resulting from rheumatic fever that he contracted as a child. On February 14th, 2017, he had open heart surgery at the Cedar sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles to repair the damaged valve and correct an aortic aneurysm. A day later, he underwent an emergency second surgery to repair a damaged coronary artery. His condition deteriorated over the next 10 days. He sadly passed away on February 25th at the age of 61, suffering from a stroke. So right before Bill Paxton passed away, a couple years prior, I was fortunate enough to get his autograph through a mutual friend. She went to a convention that he was doing, signing autographs, taking pictures, and she went up and got his autograph for me for the movie Twister. Twister is my all-time favorite Bill Paxton movie. Obviously, he's played in dozens of movies, great movies. Um, but Twister will always be sort of a special place in my heart because that movie is the only movie almost still to this day it gives me, it scares the crap out of me, pretty much. I was deathly terrified of tornadoes when I was little. So every time a thunderstorm would happen or every time it rained hard, I would get really, really scared. So thanks Bill Paxton for traumatizing me as a kid. All joking aside, seriously though, Twister is one of my favorite movies. Did traumatize me a little bit as a kid. Whatever. <laughs> On a more different note of Bill Paxton, aside from Lance Henriksen, Bill Paxton is the only other person to be killed by a Terminator, an alien, and a predator. That's crazy. You know, he had a very small role in the 1984 Terminator movie. He was one of the thugs when the Terminator arrives in Los Angeles at the Griffith Park Observatory. Pulls out a knife. He's like, you. And then, you know, you know what happens after that. But uh, he was killed in Predator 2, obviously. And then in the movie Aliens. I'm going to be honest. I tried to get into the Aliens movie. I tried watching them. There was a couple that I liked, but I was more of a predator type, but it is what it is. Oh well. One year after Bill Paxton's death, his family filed a wrongful death lawsuit against the surgeon who performed the surgery. Allegedly, he used high risk and unconventional methods and that he was not present in the operating room when Paxton developed complications such as ventricular dysfunction. The case was set for court on March of 22, but Paxton's family agreed on a partial settlement of a million dollars. In August of 22, the case was settled against Cedar sinai and the surgeon under undisclosed terms. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap on the final resting place of Mr. Bill Paxton, the extreme. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, share. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys next time.
on Jordan's Film Quest.